uh, underground utilities, site grading, a little bit of everything from your commercial job site to your water main breaks to building uh, roads. Typically three to four uh, job sites going at once. The biggest challenge is usually coordination, you know, making sure you can get everything in the right place at the right time, getting the, the right help where it needs to be, whether it be from fuel to material to um, equipment, getting it all um, coordinated and everything where it needs to go. We typically always fuel the service equipment, you know, either with the crew on site with a 110 gallon nurse tank and um, you know, the smaller crews, it worked okay, but when we get to our bigger crews, my scraper tractor will burn 300 gallons a day some days. You know, then you add 100 gallons with a dozer. The other crews burn 150 to 200 gallons a day as well. It gets pretty challenging to try to keep a 110 gallon nurse tank full all the time. And you call to get bulk fuel and, you know, they, they, they'll be there between, you know, one and three, similar to the cable guy, you know. So you've got to, you know, try to figure out how you're going to get enough fuel there to keep moving and you stop production, you're losing money. With the 990 gallon tank on here and the DEF fluid and the hydraulic and the motor oil, what it allows me to do is I can get typically two to three days before I'm going back to the bulk plant or having my bulk truck come out and fill me back up. So it saves me a lot of time, effort, and energy with the ability to get, get fuel where I need it for two to three days in a shot, whether I leave it on site or whether I'm traveling from crew to crew making sure everybody's got fuel or everything's getting greased properly. The fuel, the fuel fill on this, the pump is amazing. You're able to fill up large, large tanks, throttle the motor up, and you're able to fill up the large tanks in a short amount of time. It'll beat a 110 gallon nurse tank pumps, the 12 volt pumps any day of the week four to five times faster easily. A lot of times on the bulk trucks now, you can't get DEF fluid. So you're, you're always either carrying two and a half gallon jugs or trying to figure out another system to get you know, DEF fluid to equipment. Not, you're not carrying a case of DEF fluid around with you everywhere, trying to put two and a half gallons in a machine at a time, running the risk of more contamination. The more times you climb off that track and grab the next container and it actually, you kick some dirt on top of it, something like that, the lid falls off because you're moving around enough, so much easier. You've got it all right here, self-contained. You pull up, you fill it up, you're done, put your lid back on, you go. The light tower's handy, as we know, the days keep getting shorter. Um, you're gonna wanna be able to pull the light tower up to fuel up just because the guys are uh, done working doesn't mean that uh, you, got, you can't stop with getting them fuel for the next day. The welder generator, you never know when uh, you're gonna have uh, a need for anything. The welder, you might need it for uh, you know welding a rock box, a trench box, something on a machine, a track, a shoe. The air compressor, you know that's that's a no-brainer. You got to have an air compressor on there to clean filters out, whether it be cabin filters or anything like that. If you need some extra nuts and bolts to be able to you know have an impact on there and you know zip something off and put something back together real quick. When you, it's a great tool. Um, it, it, tool slash asset. You're able to have your fuel, your oil, your hydraulic fluid, your DEF, everything in one spot. You can grease fuel. You know, as an owner operator, it's easier to stay on top of that. As you get larger, it's harder to make sure everything's getting greased and serviced properly every day. So now you've got it all in one spot. You're able to get it right there. Everything's all in one shot, easy to go.